I've got you under my skin. Hi, I'm Lynn Wooderson, and welcome to Healthy Skin, Healthy Life. My guest today is Dr. Lori Haddad, a dermatologist in Birmingham, Michigan. And boy, she got a lot to talk about, and I have a lot to ask you today, Lori. Well, nice to you. see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in. First of all, full disclosure, I want everyone to know that you are my Certainly. doctor. I have been seeing you, I think, for 15, 18 years, something like something that. Something like that. And I started off with the classic body check and then That's right. moved into, how do I look better? I'm right, aging. Right, right. <laughs> because you as so well. So beautifully. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, you also have a part of your business that, now do you refer to it these days as the spa air end of it, or how do you refer to it? Well, actually, I mean, still our core patient base population is, is medical. Mm -hmm. And that's always a, is, is my core belief also, is make sure that, that a patient is really covered medically before we ever start to do anything cosmetically. Exactly. Right. And, and that's why I refer to the fact that the first time I saw you, I think I saw you at a funeral. <laughs> It's Sad but true. <laughs> Funerals or weddings, they usually say. Where your mortality, <laughs> That's you're right, like, it was. Ooh, maybe I should have a body check. That's right. And that is, and for many people, an uncomfortable feeling of thinking, going in to see someone they might not know well, who's going to look at them unclothed or basically underwear and right. check you over. Is there anything more horrifying to think of, but it's the best thing you can do? Right. It is. And it's, it's much simpler than childbirth for those women who have <laughs> experienced that. Easy for you That's very humbling and you, you really lose all modesty at that point. Right. But for, for everyone else who hasn't experienced that, it's, it's really simple. It's, it's really just like going for a physical exam. What and exactly it's really, do you do with a body check? And this is supposed to be once a year. Once a year, yes. And uh, May, as it turns out, is coming up and that's really um, Skin Cancer Awareness Month. We have Melanoma Monday in that month, and um, oh boy. and it I is branded melanoma. Yes, isn't it? I know, but, <laughs> but the reason is, is because no matter how much as doctors we can do is educating patients, we need that nationwide. You know, all the academies behind us and all of our associations and the branding because people still tan, right. people still don't listen. Right, they don't. So, so you come in and you strip down to <clears throat> your underwear yes. or shorts or something right. that you're comfortable in, and you right. just look for what? Well, I look for everything. I look for signs of internal disease as well. Sometimes, you know, I mean, well, the skin is the largest organ. Mm -hmm. So just like ophthalmology, you can think of it as the window to um, internal disorders. So sometimes it's exciting, I mean, that we can really save people's lives and, and even diagnose breast cancer and, and things such as that. But for a full body exam, yes, they're undressed, and then we start looking at the color of their skin, the texture, is there sun damage? Tags and warts and right. moles and things that you might, you know, on your back, you might not even know they're there unless someone pointed them out during the um, swimming or uh, sunning season. So really, That's you right. don't, a person doesn't really know That's right. what's behind What's growing them. there. <laughs> yes, and what's as I'm maturing, I'm not sure how many <laughs> wisdom spots I have going on there either, so. Right, so it's always best to, to get an exam from it's a so board-certified dermatologist. And that is, that is the rub, too. There are many people that have spas or the other side of the business that are not medical doctors. That's correct. And it's scary, but they are really operating lasers. And, uh, well, my own mother, even, is a, a mall in Michigan. Um, she had gone to that was and someone was opening up a spa years ago oh, and said let me just zap this little spot on oh. your hand and I know Eloise and she she did and I said that, that that's that's really malpractice and that's what if it was a melanoma so you just cannot be operating businesses so like that it's scary you're a medical doctor yes. and you're a doctor of osteopathy correct yes that's correct and you know it's funny in years ago we didn't think of DOs as educated. Now, of course, it's swung full circle. That's right. Where the homeopathic thing is everything. That's correct. If I'm right. Okay, that is. I am. That That's is. That's good. <laughs> it's, it's really always been that way. We just have more people hopping on the, the, the yes train. The holistic wagon? Yes, the holistic you, wagon. Yeah. Because why true. has it shifted? Why has med medicine shifted? Well, I think from even t times and times, you know, mm -hmm. past, we, we always want to lean for t to tradi traditional mm -hmm. medicine. Right. 
but then also anything people sometimes just grasp at straws if it's cancer or if it's something terminal or and then just overall health for what they can do to prevent right the now. wellness thing is the big wellness. now because we're we're a country that's kind of sick that's right. between diabetes and uh, skin cancer and cancers overall. So yes, prevention is the best way to go. That's so right. you start with a body <clears throat> check and then the next thing you do is say, listen, what do you love to tell me? You've talked about women of a certain age. Yes. Where, you, where women are saying to you? Oh, uh, uh, help me, my face has fallen. <laughs> I that can't line? get it well, there's up. There's many lines. And, yes, <laughs> help me, it's fallen, and I can't get it up. It is so yes, true. It's Just so true. Gravity will get you. It does in all areas. In the end. I think even on Seinfeld, they tried to, you know, invent the man bra. That's right. Yes, it happens to so what's all the, sexes. When, all right, you, we can go so many uh, areas. We'll start with, of course, my <laughs> my age group first. Um, what are the the new things today in terms of? Um, what you can do without surgery? Well, there are many, and that's that's the great thing, is that um, really the key has always been what can I do um, the quickest, mm -hmm. and um, we and sort of no downtime. No downtime. We live in that microwave theory of fix it yesterday, right, and right. or have a daughter's wedding next week. Right. In the olden days, we couldn't do anything for that. Now we can, all within you know sometimes a couple days notice, or even that day. Are you excited about? N we all know about <coughs> Botox, although. My theory is a lot of people do it and don't say that they do it. That's right. Um, or maybe it's broken into two. There's a group that would never do it, and that's poison in your system. That's right. And all you people are going to drop off the face <laughs> of the earth in 10 right. years. And we're all still living. Yeah. And then the other side <laughs> yeah. is they do it, but they don't say that they that's do That's correct. It. Right. So why, I think the younger generation, the 30-year-olds, don't care, if you know. Well, actually, that trend has changed. Has it? Yes. Um, our, our youngest patients are even in their 20s. <gasps> they're really? And, and actually, a lot their, their wrinkles are much more severe than the actually people our age. And I, I really attribute that to the stress in our society, probably. Really? And all the it's pressures. It's sun damage, it's just a, s or? Well, part of it is sun damage. I mean, I think as a population, everyone is sun a little bit more smarter with No this, one could um, have done worse than no one us done, on the no. roof with the foil and the iodine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had aluminum blankets. <laughs> yes. Actually. And I actually put aluminum foil around my head Isn't once that sick? With a girlfriend on a trip. Oh. It was horrible. That's so interesting. So the young people, you're seeing more damage earlier. That's right. And you think it's stress? And could it be and chemicals sun. in the foods? Stress and sun, for and sure. And sun. Mm -hmm. Because so they're, they're too young to say it's, it's genetic. At that wow. point, they're in, their, they're in their 20s. That is so, scary. You know, and the key for, for Botox is um, really is, is it's prevention and really just getting the muscles to relax, not to paralyze anyone. But at it's 20, very scary. personally, I think that's too young. 30 is too yes. young for me, but then I'm, that's right. I'm old. So no, you're <laughs> I can not. say that. You're young. But I am finding that I should have taken better care of my skin in my 30s and my 40s when I looked good. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it. Right. But now I'm seeing these young girls, they have so many things at their fingertips. That's right. And I think that is why they come in, because they, they are aware now of their resources. And hopefully with that becomes the sun education. And right. even though they're coming in in their 20s now, they didn't have control over what their parents did with them outside. True. You know, so, so or what their teachers did to them with all that homework. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when someone comes in, let's say, um, well, a 50-year-old woman comes in mm -hmm. and says, gosh, I'm starting to see the, the age process. I don't right. want to have a facelift. Right. What would you do for someone uh, like that? A little Botox, a little Juvederm, <laughs> a little Sculptra? What is all that stuff? Well, actually, <laughs> what I do is I actually have them hold up a mirror, and I, I have them look into it and, and tell me what is, you know, what they're looking at and what they would like me to improve because everyone's beautiful in right. my eyes and, and and I might see you know something completely different and more medical and and they're saying fix this little crease on my nose right. and you know I can't even see the and crease they with might magnifiers. Like so. Some of the things that y you might say well you let's do the wrinkles around your eyes like I, li I don't mind those they they're laugh lines. Right. I, that's fine. But I that. might see something else where I'm like, please. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so you work together. We work together. And we usually start with Skin Care 101. What are they putting on their skin? The skin is the largest organ. So what we are putting on can be very 
not healthy and very unsafe from things that are being, you know, promoted in department stores and salons and spas and department stores really? to even, yes, even just over-the-counter products that can be irritating and But damaging. are there things, can you buy things over-the-counter that are as healthy as some of the more expensive products? Is it about knowing the chemistry of what you're putting on your skin? Yes, it's about knowing the chemistry and then the goals mm -hmm. for each issue. So if, if someone wants a sunblock, what is the proper, you know, avenue for mm -hmm. that or education and same thing with products and, you know, really, you know, for, for women and men also who want to wear sunblock, they even make them in powders and things that are really, you know, powders? cosmetically no kidding. acceptable, not that white chalky zinc oxide. Exactly. All right. So. You've got your, let's say, your 50-year-old patient, and you say, let's, that's good stuff. Um, I know there are lasers today. I know there's the, uh, what's the one everyone's talking, profractional? Yes. And that is the one that can do some major lifting. Okay, because of collagen. What does it do? Collagen, right. Okay, so back to the whole holistic approach and... Um, Really, my passion was uh, initially in chiropractic. I don't know if you ever knew that. I did not. No, and then I decided I, know I wanted something scientific. more medical. <laughs> so I came back from Palmer in Iowa, and my, my counselor said, why don't you think about a DO, being a DO? And I said, what is that? And so it was a cross between, really, I, I get the medical degree with you know being able to prescribe medications when needed, but really trying to find out the underlying cause for issues. So when someone comes in and they want to also be evaluated for um, cosmetic reasons, right. we sort of take this 3D approach. Okay, and yes. so you know the background, you know the medicine, you know the the beauty aspect of it, you consider yourself an artist, I would think, and a chemist or a biologist? Yes, well that was my degree. It was, was So you've got the right biology. brain, left brain thing going. Yeah. It's kind of unusual for a doctor. It, it is, it is. Yeah. I never realized I, I really had that right brain part, but then looking back I um, hopefully my mother's not listening to this, but I did enjoy <laughs> sewing. Thank goodness. Um, hey, we she, all had she home forgot about those great things I made back then. But <laughs> because then the in college, shift. I would always ask her to sew a button on for me. Right? Yes, I see. So, but but sewing skin has always been a passion, and really doing really? great plastic closures, and so that that, that is really is really always been a lot of fun. And I was pushed into so doing you're at that the as the sewing resident. machine thinking this will be skin someday. No, no, I never knew that. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, gosh. That's but cool. it is, I have, honestly, I, I since I've been going to you and I know so many of your patients, everybody talks about how artistic you are with with your work. Well, thank you. And that Im importantly coincides with all the facial things that people want you to do because I've seen um, bad Botox. That's right. I've seen bad fillers where mm. they look like they have ping pong balls way up yes. here, um, you shouldn't be able to no. tell, no. correct? No, the, you should not be able to tell. And if you can, then that's why, you know, I'm, the word plastic sort of, sort of fits. We don't right. want people looking plastic. It's very natural. And the goal is to really, in my practice and my viewpoint, to stimulate each patient's own collagen to do the work. Explain that to us because that okay. goes back to the laser, right? The profraction And products. Yes. Okay. Yes. What, it doesn't seem possible to stimulate your own skin. How does it right. work? Right. Well, there are, uh, there are a few. There are, there, 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 it's very scientific, mm -hmm. but there are. Let me sum it up. Okay. <laughs> products, the best thing still, science goes back to that we really have to do basic skin cares with some glycolic acids. Okay. And that's all natural from sugar cane. And that's our first step. And, um, and then adding a retinol or retin-A product or vitamin A derivative. Is that lifting off layers of skin? What's happening? Well, the goal is to do it microscopically, not okay. so people are walking around shedding and looking like a lizard. Then All they're right. really using it improperly. Okay. But um, many goals to shrink pores, stimulate collagen, um, really give that clean, healthy surface and that, that glow. So you're growing, well. your, your, own, your own cells are growing within your system from these treatments to yes. plump out the skin? Yes, and I'll explain a little bit further. And retin-A's work great, however, more quicker in action for, for shrinking pores and for acne. And really for wrinkles, you know, decades of, uh, before you'll ever see results, truly. It takes a long time okay. to see what we're really wanting to plump up, <laughs> you know, without so magnifiers may look good and, in the and biopsies. <laughs> right. So, so, so there goes then <laughs> the invention of right, lasers and other things that can help. I see. 
and so there are lasers that I use in my practice that stimulate the wavelength is appropriate that um, the target or chromophore is such a, that and the skin is collagen and water and erbium is, is 10 times greater affinity for collagen and water than CO2 lasers so that is okay. really the gold standard in care for that and gives the quickest and the best uh, result without um, really any severe downtime at all. Okay, downtime right. is a big deal. Is That's that, right. is that uh, something where you can go deeper and have more downtime? Maybe you, how does that work? Well, it is so individual. So oh. the other thing that I ask patients are, what are their goals is, is also for downtime. Mm -hmm. Can you have any downtime? And if not, that's great. We can still achieve our goals, but maybe you know a few more visits closer together instead of one big blast. Then I have the patients who really want to bleed and have it all happen. Bleed? Bleed. Bleed a little bit, what, bleed a from little bit. the pin pricky type? Yes. And the goal, we really want everyone to get, even if it's one little pin prick that's, that's gone by the time they leave. Because studies have shown um, these ablative procedures, which we fractionate the treatments, or we really, really, when we say fractionate, do them in a manner that they can go back to work that day. Oh, wow. Go back, just come in on a lunchtime procedure and get the full benefits. And still getting a little bit of pinpoint helps to get that collagen stimulation. Mm -hmm. Light treatments help with fine lines, but help more with pigment and browns and reds. So you are really at the mercy of your doctor to say, trust me, I think this is the direction we should go in. Trust and me is the key. There's oh, that's so hard to do. With every relationship in life. Yes, in life. But especially <laughs> with that, yes, that doctor-patient relationship, there has to be that trust. And you've often heard, you know, um, patients say, I've left, you know, I, I would leave, you know, Dr. So-and-so's office, but they're, you know, he's so good or she's so good, mm -hmm. but their staff, they can't stand. But it's so, it still really boils down to that, it's about that trust. Right. Right. And that is a time-honored thing as well. You build right. up trust over the years, and, and you may be going to your dermatologist for your body check or just a little something you need to check, and then all of a sudden you say, look, <laughs> what can I do right. to look younger? Right. And so the laser, you know, we can get the quick fix. Um, we have some great blizzard peels, we call them, and blizzard laser, laser facials. And injections, Botox works a little bit deeper, but it's just to relax muscles, not to paralyze. Mm -hmm. People should be able to frown and laugh and right. move their eyes and there are still have wrinkles. There are people I and have seen, even in this market, oh, where, yes. where there's no yes. look but the... And I'm paralyzed. And, yes. and that, that's not the goal. The goal is just enhance your natural beauty. And then for those who don't really want to do any laser treatments or any injectables, there are the, the, the products are so important. All right, let's and talk about products. What, because oftentimes you will read nothing will really penetrate the skin or get under the skin. It's all palliative on top. Is that true or are there? Well, it depends on what's okay. in, in the base or if it, it's right, if it has mineral oil in, in it or things oh, that really yeah. clog the pores. So Mineral oil is the devil. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's the other time. So you so have products, probably everybody has products. That's right. That's right. Why we were you so excited about your product? Well, I, you know, experience does does speak sometimes, and I've been doing this for for over twenty years, twenty four years. Do you get in in the? I uh, do. We mix in our office. You do. We do in vivo trials on our patients. What does and that mean, in vivo? Well, we give them. That Latin? We give them <laughs> in vivo live, so not on rats <laughs> or on animals, but our live patients that I'm actually following. But and you're in in your office in the back room. Putting things in beakers Sometimes and we are, so yeah, exciting. Certain products. I didn't know mm -hmm. you could do that. Yes. So you want it's a doctor fun. who actually has put some thought into their products as opposed to buying a line off a shelf from a company. Yes. Correct. And each year it's interesting that I sit down with my my managers at 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 <laughs> at Bay, <laughs> and um, and and I and I say, okay, which products still are are the hottest? You know, because when the news people come and for the local people and uh, the celebs, what is the, what's the and biggest And you have and to keep yourself out there. Yes, and it still does boil down to our core glycolic acid products that we have, really? special botanicals and, and topical vitamins in, and um, are still our number one. Mm -hmm. And then I pull from other pharmaceutical companies that really I've, I, I've wanted to, to be partners with, okay. where I believe that their science background matches our philosophy. Excellent, so does that mean you have um, 
exciting things on the horizon. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> but I'll bet you can't talk about them. Well, some <laughs> I can and some uh, we'll share at another time. Are we seeing, though, but in your business, then um, new things coming every day? Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Um, the lasers, you know, we pretty much have those all figured out right now. There are great products out. Um, and the most exciting is, is um, some of our coffee berry creams. Oh, coffee berry, that's been around for a while, has it not? It Excuse has me. been around for a <laughs> while, and you know, um, a, f a few changes in, in corporation, um, you know, little little trivial things, but it's back on the market. And you and still feel good full about force. it? Full force, oh yes. What's the name it's of wonderful. that product, Revali? Revali. Revali? Yes, Revali. And it is based, you know, you've heard of Wake Up Your Mind with mm -hmm. coffee, well we want to mm -hmm. wake up your skin. And um, we we actually do that with one of our products in house that we call Wake Up Serum. We've had, you know, for several years in house of right. our little mixing up beaker things right. you're talking about. And then with this corporation, we really love their products with the coffee berry extract. And um, coffee growers really their their hands were flawless. And no this is kidding. how it all came about. Yes. Gee, that wonderful job <laughs> to get nice hands. Yes. <laughs> so to marketplace, let's take those yeah. hands to the face and the body. Well, I and think a good, I, so. I have to say, the first thing that I asked you about, and um, I am not a 50-year-old woman, I was using that younger woman as an example. She's but 35. <laughs> yeah, twice. Um, I think I began with getting a dark spot or a brown spot, and I said, okay, we are. this is not going to happen. That, to me, was the real sign of aging. And I asked you what I could do, and you had... Um, there's a, a skin lightening cream, yes, right? Yes, there are. And it's a pres or not prescription, but it's it's not inexpensive. But boy, did it Correct. work! Right. And that started me off on the. This might be simpler than I think without having to do any major. That's correct. Work. Right. That's right. But I do get a charge out of that. My face has fallen. So many of my friends, we all will stand in front of a mirror <laughs> and think, how can I have my picture taken like this? Like this. <laughs> well, oh, I yes. will add on to that, actually. <laughs> One more treatment. Yes. Um, um, called Sculptra. Oh, I did want to add when you said sometimes people think the big deal, you'll use cream and it's a big deal to go in for a procedure. Yes. But as you know now from some of the um, broadband light treatments that we do, mm -hmm and it's just a light treatment, you come in, it takes 30 seconds right. to do one little spot. Exactly. And it's gone within a couple of days. That's, then versus that is what I progressed a year to of after using the cream. cream. That's right. right. Thank you for reminding yes. me of that because I, it well, wasn't, a lot more cheaper to it do wasn't the ones as sometimes. simple as that, right. but it started me on that path of this works, what can work faster and better? You're right. Faster and better. And you zapped me whatever that thing was. Right. <laughs> That's good. Right. A little light I'm treatment. your perfect patient. I have no idea. You are great. But it works. It works great. And to me, that was more of an aging thing than anything was a brown spot. When you see your mother's hands yes. coming out of your sleeve, your own sleeve, that's, that's, it's like, it's okay. like, I've turned into that. Okay. And patients, you know, mistakenly call them liver spots or age Grammys spots. And it's really photo right? damage. It is all from the sun. Yes. So um, that is reversible, like I said, so quickly within a minute. Right, but that's kind of the beginning. Those are the things yes. that you can, you can experiment with and right. see whether you, the doctor and you are on the same page, yes. or if you get a good vibe from your doctor, mm -hmm. or if they don't get you. If they don't get it. And the, the common, most common theme is making sure that patients understand, right. you know, that I understand their goals, not mine. Right. But then I tell them what's safe and um, let them know what my recommendations are that's safe for them. Mm -hmm. And then Sculptra is our other exciting thing, and that's what we use to volumize the skin to you, now this lift is a that filler. Face. It's Do not a filler; it's, not it's a, a filler. volume replacer. Okay. And in my opinion, nothing does it like that. All right. Not really even fat. dumb it down, Dr. Lori. Yes. What area of the skin would you use it in? It's full face, eyes. And so full you would face. put it. So eyes down. You can pick something on me. Where would full you put Full face it? and eyes is, is in its full for volumizing. Okay. And it's so natural, it, it stimulates your own system to pr produce collagen. Does it dissipate after a while? Yes, it's a, it lasts around two years. Okay. But it's very natural, and people do not know that you've had it and done. So it's not a filler. What's a good example of someone who, who might need it? Magda from Something About Mary, but she needs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Remember her? Yes. Oh, God, well, yes. I mean, I don't want to pick out someone local. But it would be uh, sunken uh, eyes, or it would be, I oh, mean, I what see. area are we right. um, Full face, so volumizing, know, where we have sunken in okay. um, eyes and around the mouth, the perioral area, okay. cheeks, that fallen face. And 
traditionally we've said, oh, we have to do plastic surgery and pull it back. Right. Well, that makes the face thinner. And really we've lost volume from fat loss and bone I loss. See. So you're talking about the With actual aging. fallen thing. And yes. you do, you know, you lose bone the loss. little rosy fat cheeks. Yes, they and do. we all want those little rosy cheek, apple they do cheeks go. back. So you inject it? Or well, what? we don't inject it. We stimulate with a big fanning technique. We mostly put saline in there oh. and little po po little like microscopic particles mm -hmm. called polylactic acid. Mm -hmm. And you cannot see those. How and it's found in suture. You look very young and full treatment benefit okay. at that first um, appointment. Then we reassure patients, you will go back down to baseline in two days. This is all sterile water in there pretty much. Okay. And it's really just triggering, triggering your own immune system. And different then, than the laser because it is injections, but it's it's all an art. It's not just putting a filler and caulking a floor where there's there's <laughs> yes, cracks. It is it is like taking that. away that crepiness and that thinness of the skin and and making it full again and youthful again naturally with your body's so own I suppose biological that response. would then therefore lift this up, which yes. might lift the other thing yes. for women of a certain age is, is your the neck. neck. Oh, it's the first thing to go. Yes, and that's where our laser is, is fabulous as well as for the neck. Really? Because yeah. that also stimulates a collagen? Right. Sculpture would be great there, but we just stay away from too many danger zones there. Especially if you make yes. your living with your voice. Correct. <laughs> you have to talk, even if you're in sales or just with the public. That would right, be right. So laser's fabulous for that area. So basically what you're saying is the times have changed and you can come in and do things without a facelift. Oh, yes. Although there's nothing wrong with the facelift if, if you had the money if and you warranted. wanted to do it. But the only time that really you need lifting, I mean, it, it, you don't lift to produce a volume. It won't happen. It, it creates more hollowness. Of course. So there has to be true, of true, course. true, true saying. Yeah. So, so interesting. You, you must be thrilled to be in an area that's changing every day. It is. It's so exciting. It's, it's the best field I could have possibly yeah. have chosen. And now we just really love to wrap um, skin in with our fashion and design consultants as well. So that's what been a lot of fun that we've had on the side. That? Really just some, some things that we do with events where we oh. tie it all together. Oh, that's fun. Yes. So, well, it's good to remind the young women, if I were 20 or 30 today, I certainly would take care of my skin in such a different way. Right. But like anything, you know, youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> you don't think about it because we you look so good. We don't listen to mother and grandmother back <laughs> no, then, do we? No. don't. Dr. Lori Haddad, uh, dermatologist in Birmingham, uh, right in the center of town. That's right. And it is so nice to talk to someone who marries both sides of your business. The art and the science is so important. It and is. you have a great bedside manner, too, by the well, way. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's hard to admit that you are insecure about the way you look. You know, it's one thing to say, remove this right. skin tag, but right. the other to say, I feel old. I don't feel good about myself. That's right. It takes a trusting soul to listen. Oh, well, thank you. You're very thank welcome. Thank you for always being such a great patient. Oh, yeah. I, I, and kidding, obeying. Me? I complain all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's another show. Yes, <laughs> healthy skin, healthy life. Dr. Lori Thank Haddad. you so Thank much, you. Thank It's been a pleasure. Me. All right.